Tees followed the oil can Christmas band into the recording studio. Today we take a closer look at the making of Run Run Rudolph. is uh, a whole lot of my friends decided to get together to do a Christmas song. Um, I didn't feel like hogging an award, so I wanted to share it with my buds. This is my Christmas present to myself. Dennis is going to take my part here, and uh -huh. I'll sing this part here. You got Ernie's part? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Whose part do you have? I have the drummer's part. The drummer boy's part. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's been one continuous change. Uh, Jack Seals is responsible. The guitarist for the Sweetwater Band uh, did the arrangement, laid out the horn parts, the harmonies. I think that a lot of musicians are um, uh, wanting to get involved in doing recording, and this is kind of a step out of what I think everybody is used to doing. Um, the same old bar gigs and things like that. I mean, this is this is an exciting thing to do. Okay, Jerry, just play along as soon as you know where you're at. Oh, it's gone fantastic. This is great. When you get this many musicians of this caliber and to record like this, it's just fantastic. few hours of practice together. <laughs> so not much practice, but a whole lot of fun, though. <laughs> How is it seeing the pictures of all you guys in the studio? Oh, I'm getting a kick out of it. <laughs> it brings back the whole day. It was it, it was really nice, the guy up there at Catamount, too, because I was only supposed to get eight hours, and he ended up giving us another eight. That's great. So, well, congratulations great. to you both, and thank well, you very thank much. You. Ken Brandt and Jack Seals, appreciate it. Thanks thank for you. having us. Glad to be here. And you can hear the Oil Can Christmas Band's version of Run Run Rudolph on your favorite Quad City radio stations, and look for it in stores in the upcoming weeks, and we understand part of the proceeds will benefit children's charities.